Guess what we heard? The doorbell ring. <laughs> she doesn't want to be on the camera. She doesn't want to show off her beautiness. Her beautifulness. What the hell? <coughs> ah, there it is. Good morning, YouTube. Guess what? Today we have another unboxing and it's from Breeder Circle. So while I wait for the FedEx guy that should be here within five, 10 minutes, I am gonna have my cup of Joe. Thanks again, Mike McGrath, for this awesome mug. So everyone knows I love octopuses. All right, now it's just a waiting time. So this is what Rogue does when she wants to go outside. She sticks her head out. All right, get your little butt over there and go have some fun. Guess what we heard? The doorbell ring. <laughs> she doesn't want to be on the camera. She doesn't want to show off her beautiness. Her beautifulness. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Ah, there it is. All right, let's get this unboxing done. I bet you guys are wondering what's in here. It's not a reptile box, it doesn't have any holes in it. But trust me, it's just as cool. You know, I've bought in so many knives, and I always forget where I put the new ones at. So they don't have any more freaking sharpness to it. Oh yeah. Instruction manual. DVD. For another instructional CD. Uh oh, I'm gonna log it to the internet or something. Sweet! Here we have a, what is that, a KX5600 ultrasound from Breeder Circle. All right, let's get all this thing opened up and let's see if we can get it working. All right, so as you guys all know, man, I've invested and a lot of stuff. I've invested in snakes. I've invested in racks. I've invested in incubators. And I've invested in a lot of time of getting my snake investment going, hobby, business, whatever you want to call it. So this is all that was pretty much needed. You know, I've heard a lot of good things about, you know, having um, an ultrasound and I'm finally, you know, I finally have one, which I'm really, really excited to use. And um, I got this from Ricardo from um, Breeder Circle. You know, if you guys are really interested in one, I'm gonna try to get this thing working. Um, Ricardo has already showed me one before at Daytona. You know, I've been looking them up on YouTube, so let's see, let's put all these things together and see what we can bring up. But yeah, make sure you guys check out our Breeder Circle on the website. They have a really good deal on these things right now. For you guys, I know a lot of you guys don't need one. You guys palpitate them alone with your hands, but you know, I always hear from all the big breeders, all the big guys that, you know, it's worth having one. So let's go from there. Okay, so let's take it right here. We have the power cord. Make sure this connects to this. See? Pretty smart right there. I am so excited about this guys. You guys have no idea man. I mean like I said it's just oh, so cool. Alright. This right here is the pedal. Uh, push your button thingy. So this works pretty much for when you're going through the snake and you finally found the, the, the follicles and you want to freeze frame, you just step on this, boom, and then you can measure it out. So it's really handy to have this. Especially if you're doing it by yourself, you're gonna need some help. So, okay, and put this aside. 
not really sure what this is for, but um, I'm gonna read the instruction manual just to find out. And I believe this is the probe. Alright guys, let me uh, go through this real quick so you guys are probably going to get bored just watching me put this all together, so let's see. Alright, that seemed pretty easy. Now let's see if I did everything right. Oh yeah. Look at that. Sweet. Now, again, the function, gain, all these things, I'm not too familiar with. I am going to play with it a little bit and I will be right back. I'm not gonna do any girls without testing this, without um, figuring it out first, so. But I will show you guys. So excited, again, I'm not an expert. I just got this, but with a little bit of reading, a couple of phone calls, I should be on my way to being the next ultrasound veterinarian. I don't know. All right, guys, stay tuned. I'll be right back. I'm back, and you know what? I'm a pro now. Check this out. So real quick, if anybody um, that already has one or that doesn't have one, um, please be very, very careful with the probe. This right here is very sensitive and could easily break and that's probably the most expensive thing on this unit. So just if you guys get that. Okay, so real quick, what I've learned so far that the function here pretty much, you know, widens the screen and I heard 55 is the best place to put it at. Um, and the gain will be the darkness. So again, gain and function. So real quick, I am going to go grab a female and try to do this. Actually, I can't even do it on my own. I have to wait for Tina to get here. Hmm, maybe I can set up my camera. All right, let me figure this out, guys, and let's get going. Okay, I'm back now. So there was two things missing. One, awesome, beautiful turtle. And two, we needed some lubricant, cause yeah, it wouldn't work without it. I know some people use water, but I'm gonna go ahead and try it with the gel. So okay, now we are going to get some female ball pythons. And remember, I haven't tried this yet on any snakes, so no like mean criticizing or anything. I'm just gonna go by what I've learned on YouTube and what I've seen hands on, okay? So be nice guys, let's get these females. Okay, so right here we have a sulfur Mojave female. We've paired her up once before without you know knowing her um, what size her follicles or anything because we didn't have this but we um, did notice she was wrapped around her bowl so I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try. Tina's gonna be uh, filming where I put the probe at and then see if we get a picture on here. Okay, so. Okay, I'm in control. Get this girl out. <clears throat> She's like definitely a raptor on me. All right, so right here we have the lubricant jelly. And I am just going to pour a little on here. Again, I could do this a little easier, but Tina's holding the camera. Okay, so let's give this a shot. Okay, so right here we're going to look for some follicles, which I landed it right on there, I believe. Jelly around. It should be right. You guys see them? Right oh, there. I see it. So, what I'm gonna do is that's a little pedal works so good right there. So, I'll show you keep right filming. 
little petal. So what I'm gonna do right here is I am going to go to measure, which the button is right here. Again, it says measure and mm -hmm. press on it. Now, it's gonna allow me to come right here and I'm gonna go right to the edge of the follicle and then press set. And from right here, I'm gonna go all the way to the other side and hit set again. And right there, we have 8.6 millimeters, right there. So as you guys can see, it's a pretty good uh, picture. Now what I'm gonna do is step on the pedal again and then just play with it a little, just to fix anything else. But as you can see, oh my gosh, all the follicles are right. Remember, I'm trying to do this my best, guys. But yeah, they're right there. This is cool. I wonder if this works on humans. <laughs> you can try it. Try it on Rogue. I know the gold water should be right here somewhere. I think that's it right there. The big old dark spot? Yeah. Yep, because then the follicles will be right next to it. Alright guys, what we're going to do is try to get a female with bigger follicles. Um, I do have some girls that stopped feeding, so I'm going to go grab those big old girls and try it on them, see what we get from there. Alright guys, so right here, and move ahead out real quick, we have a spide. And we've been pairing her up to a yellow belly. And the snake previous to this was the Mojave um, uh, Vanilla. We've been pairing it up to a cypress. So again, let me give this a shot and see. And this one also has some pretty big follicles, but just let me say. move her around. She's wrapped around the chair right now. Yep. Wow. All right there. That's good to see, man. And it's funny because these girls are just so thick right now. They haven't ate for a few amount of days. Well, a few weeks already. Yeah, they're back to back if you guys can see them. Yeah, look at those. Okay, I'm gonna grab another female that we haven't been pairing up. Oh yeah, you can see them really good right there. Yeah, and she's not even as big right as the there, last let's one. See. Let me click on that. Not as easy as it looks. <laughs> the more you do it, the easier it'll get. But yeah, let me go get a female that has them that we haven't been pairing up. See if we can find some smaller follicles. Cause I think they're a lot easier to get to find. All right, guys. So next we have a uh, pastel yellow belly. We've been locking this girl up with the freeway. So, oh, 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 oh. Stay, 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 stay. so put some gel on her again. Let's see if we can find some better looking follicles. And I promise you guys I'm get a lot better at this. So let's see. She's moving around right now. Okay, there's some right there. Okay, so keep filming. It's so right here. Whoa, 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 she's around the... Oh, yeah, she's around the chair. Man, she just got me full of jelly. Full of gel. Hold on, guys, in one second. I'm gonna move this chair. I'm just gonna try to... Okay, so let's go to measure. I'm gonna see where she's at. Set. 8.1 millimeters. Okay, let's keep going. Oh man, I'm all chillied out. So there, there's more right there. Let's see, right there, right on the top. Oh yes, that dark spot right perfect, there. Perfect, perfect, perfect. The kids just got home, guys, so don't mind them. Right. 
there. Let's measure it. That was right there. Nine point three millimeters. Cool. Awesome. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. That's my unboxing from the ultrasound that I got at Breeder Circle. So if you guys want one, if you guys want to look into it a little bit more, I'm gonna put their link in the description down below, so you guys can give them a, a call and just you know get more um, information on it. I try to do my best and showing you guys what what I uh, looked at YouTube and stuff like that. I could have been doing it wrong. I could have been doing somewhat right, but again, it's only my first time using it. I'm only gonna get better and better every time um, I you know I work with it and train on it, whatever you want to call it. But again, thank you guys very much. I appreciate all the love and support. Until next time, I hope you guys enjoyed this short little vlog. Bye.